the next step is to turn on collision for our particles. So we are going to scroll down in our particle system and actually let's name this system. This is going to be particle launcher. Should have named it earlier. And so we are going to scroll down in our particle launcher system and we are going to turn on the collision module. Now, by default, the collision mode is planes, in which case we have to provide a set of transform objects to use as planes. We are going to switch it to use the world collision to collide with the world. So now you can see they're hitting the wall and bouncing back off really fast. And if we go into play mode and test, boing, boing, it's pretty fun. Woo. Um, so you could definitely do a lot of fun stuff with that, right? But what we're going to do is we don't actually want them to bounce around. So we are going to set the bounce to zero. And we're also going to set the max kill speed to zero. So we have min kill speed and max kill speed. So the min kill speed is when particles collide and their speed is lower than this value, they're killed or removed from the simulation, right? And max is when particles collide and their speed is higher than this value. So I've set this to zero. So if our particle collides with a speed higher than zero, it's going to be removed from the simulation. So basically, whenever our particle hits something, it's going to be removed, right? We don't actually want them bouncing around. Maybe in your game you do, but in this case, we want them to disappear and do some stuff. So one thing that we can do as a sort of minor performance tweak is instead of having this collide with everything, we're going to initially set this to nothing, right? And this is a layer mask. So this is, right now, this is gonna collide with nothing on any layer. We are going to say only collide with objects on the environment layer. And it just so happens that our walls and our floor are already added to that layer as children of the environment holder object. So now the particles won't collide with the player or if we had any other objects in here, uh, they wouldn't collide either. It's just going to collide with the objects which are on that layer. Interior collisions allows us to check for collisions if somehow a particle spawns inside a collider. In the documentation, they say that this might be useful for sort of pickup type objects. Um, but in this case, we do not want to spawn inside colliders uh, or detect collisions inside colliders. Uh, and so we are going to turn that off. The collision quality we're going with is high. Uh, in this case, we can afford it. If you ran into performance issues, you might try turning it down. The trade-off is that you may have particles pass through certain objects and not register the collisions. If your game is sort of tolerant of that, then maybe it's okay. Um, and in this case, they're only gonna collide with in both medium and low, they're only going to collide with static colliders. So if you run into performance issues because of this, you may want to try lowering the collision quality. Now, we can choose to enable dynamic colliders, right? We're not going to do that. We just want to collide with our static colliders in our environment. Now, the last and the most important uh, setting in this module is to send collision messages. So we're going to use a callback in our scripts called on particle collision. And the only way that this callback is going to be detected is if we enable send collision messages in the collision module of our particle system component. So we're going to make sure that that's on. And then we are going to move on to writing our script. Let me just check the chat quickly and then I'll continue. Uh, Tyler Cuevado is asking, is it possible to have it collide with environment and player through that dropdown? Yeah, just make a layer for the player, uh, which you would add up here. Just add a layer, make it player, and then you could here, you could have multiple, in any layer mask field, you can select a number of uh, entries or nothing. We're going to keep it on just environment.